our proactive Mardu enchantments kind of deck thing. I like that it's, it says Mardu enchantments and there's no longer really any enchantments in it. This is Mardu Super Friends. Let's actually, let's back up. No, let's not. Let's just call Mardu Super Friends. Are there any enchantments in this at all? Except for this one, huh? This is an enchantment. <laughs> Alright, so if we're up against a more Controlio deck, we would be cutting, like, our Sweepers and the Heartless Act, like these seven, and then we have, like, seven clear ones to put in. We have a lot of D-Sparks as well. Uh, I'll work on the sideboard as things come up. Uh, a little bit of time. <laughs> Let's give it a go. All right, so we're going to need to do this on turn one to be able to get the red mana that we need to be able to bedevil on turn three. Here it comes. Uh-oh. Bam, there it is. Bop. Okay, I got to just... Oh. Oh, feels good. Oh. Yeah, what, what, what colors are the StarCraft factions? I've had this discussion with buddies before. Which would be, like, Zerg is green-black, is what I've heard is the most Zerg thing. Terran is red-white. Which I think is perfect colors for it. It's Protoss that I really don't know about. A lot of people say Simic is probably the most Protoss one. But I don't know. I don't know. You know, what are you going to do? All right, given that our opponent has shown... All right, I'm just going to do this and pass. Protoss feels maybe something bluish. See, see, the reason I think, like, Bant or Simic or something like that makes sense. What the hell are we up against now? Cycling deck? I don't believe it. What are you? You, you just going to play the Lurus? Oh, the Stinger. Oh, for fuck's sake. I think that Rain is doing a three-color cycling deck. Elspeth healing up is actually quite good. Yeah, I know this one. <sighs> Ruinous Ultimatum is actually going to be pretty good here. Cry the Carnarium. Probably not so good. Death itself cannot halt my quest for justice. Heroes, rally to me. Here comes a 1 1 Floya. Yeah, I think Protoss having some green in there makes a lot of sense, because Protoss actually just has such large size. <sighs> I thought green-blue is Simic. It is. I may have misspoken. Trust me, I'm Tord. I'm a very Tord person. I'm Tord. I am gonna do this. Yeah. Let's make the Legion of One Ones, man. This is this is why I like Elspeth in this kind of deck. It's just an escape card that I can cast multiple times. Postvale Ambush! Lois of the Dweem Den. Alright. Well, I guess I guess I could absolutely use something really good like Akaya's Wrath. 
a D spark. Oh, that just doesn't help against a damn thing, does it? Huh? Okay. Well, okay. I am proud of my comrades. I am absolutely doing this now. All right, you got it. God's blessings is a righteous cause. I believe. I'm not going to be attacking with anything. I'm just going to chill. I <laughs> Protoss is so tight. StarCraft is so good. Anyone else been watching my brother lately? My little little bro bro? He's my older brother, but still. He's a little guy to me. I mean if I get the ruinous ultimatum off the top, that's just like bing bong boom. <laughs> yeah, Flippy Eggsy, I saw you both there last night. It was good. Been watching Artosis? Ah. He's been a wee bit glumpy. My Ruinous Ultimatum is actually going to be great. Worse. I fought worse. I will lend you my strength. Get in there. Heal me up. Dude, I'm telling you, a single Ruinous Ultimatum, and that's the game. He turned his losing streak at the start of the night around. Yeah, Nick, Nick did nothing but play like 35 mini games, And he lost maybe two or three of them. Maybe, maybe four even. And then just like, oh shit, I'm in best of one. Ah, fuck. I want to be in best of three. Why not attack with Gideon? Oh, because we're because we're just messing up. Because we're tired. We've been tired this whole week. And we just keep we we if I'm tired, I will just make lots of really basic, basic mistakes. I'm just going to get out of here and go to the best three. Um, but yeah, then Nick played this really amazing 37-minute TVP on Fighting Spirit. There we go. Oh my god, Magical Trevor is at 99 months and says one more month. One more month, Magical Trevor. One more month, Magical Trevor. Yeah, that super long PVZ was awesome. I am keeping because almost everything is a companion deck, except for some Wilderness Reclamation decks and a couple of Ramp Bant decks. And so for that reason, I think that D-Spark and Bedevil are going to be very helpful here. I don't know what this is. Is it a feather deck? Looks like it's someone else having a good time. Okay. This is a spirit. So here is what I think is happening. I think that we are up against a Winota deck. Maybe. We have a lot of instant speed removal to deal with that. And no, nothing. cast Gideon yet, because I can't do anything with Gideon. Probably actually a second Aurelia. I don't really want to play Gideon right now, because Gideon uh, costs one more to activate, and I wanted to make sure that I actually had enough mana to do the D-Spark. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 
Wow. I have flooded a lot with this deck. Let me lead the charge into darkness. I believe in you, friend. But I don't think going to 25 makes sense. No. Ah. I could take it. Prepare for battle. Prepare for battle. Fight, win, prevail. Fight, win, prevail. All right. Well, that's really great news. I, ju I just think Banishing Light sucks in this meta so much. Hello, it's me! It's Elf with... Absolutely spend a mana. Now if I draw Godzilla, I can mush. Vanishing Light gets hit by Elspeth Conqueror's death, to Fairy, all enchantment removal that you might consider running due to the fact that there's a shitload of scary fires of invention decks in the meta. Like all those hit this. Brazen Borrower hits I mean it's like everything hits Banishing Light. I just think it's one of the reasons why like a lot of enchantment decks are not great right now. It's just it's so easy to just nuke them. Well, remember what I was saying? Remember that? I have no idea what two Mega Who's up to. I walk a righteous path. Lifelink, please. Your light will cleave the darkness. I will do my best to support. Get in there, guys. An angel of fucking what? Of grace? Are you kidding me? An angel of... I'm sorry, what? Excuse me? Excuse me, huh? Fucking what? Is it an angel deck? Oh man, I think we're gonna lose to angels. Or we're gonna win with Godzillas. I am not quite indestructible. Uh-huh. Right. I'm telling you, man, we just we just need a little more oomph, a little more proactivity. Start off with some Gideons, transition into some Godzillas. Got it. Alright. Your valor and fight. I'm doing it. Look at this. Doesn't even matter. I did it. I did did it. We we have successfully won game one. Okay, what on earth is our opponent? Probably this is not going to be good. This lady doesn't seem that good. Frankly, the Gideons don't seem very good. Maybe then I would want this and some of the Disparks in there. Hmm. 
My opponent's deck is weird. Rob Robert the Rich is good if our opponent has no creatures at the start of the game. Or no removal at the start of the game. So in control versus control, that's where we're open to and eager to run out uh, the robbers. If we're against an aggro deck, we don't really want to be putting our robbers in there. Because they're, they're just kind of like weak blockers, effectively. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. do, do. Okie dokie. It's a Naya deck. So this is spells and abilities. Can I just... Huh. Okie dokie. Alright. Okie dokie. Oh my god, S. Dalfani. Monsieur Dalfani. Even. Mr. or Mrs. Stalfani. Welcome back. And frankly, it's lovely to see you in a warm thanks. Thanks for the support from yesterday, when you gifted a whole bunch of subs right when I was logging off because my Comcast was shitting out. So we are, we're getting a little bit low. On the HPs. Okay, so how do I do this? I think I do this and I just heal up, huh? That. We can rebuild the walls of some uh. Still, I could do nothing. Okay, so if I do probably like this. The deck is working. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. <laughs> Rise and shine. Okay. I have not given Shit. Up fight. I wasn't expecting raise the alarm. Rats. Damn. Crud. Two mega who absolutely zooped us. Definitely another one of those. Death by Beats gifted five subs. Hey, Death by Beats, have you have you read Chew? Death by Beats. Hope you've read. Chew. Sure about the Gideon cut? Yeah, Gideon is not the best if I am up against uh, someone who's. I think it's not the best from up against somebody who is um, or, uh, aggressive in some regard. Holy shit. We're against a dream come true. Plothus just completely dunked on us before. Alright, 
So, let's see if our opponent is as prepared to deal with Outlaw's Merriment being killed as we are. Because we, we've almost been spending our entire life preparing for this moment. Dude, that Clothis... Clothis just owns so hard. Clothis is just like the absolute dunk on you ping forever card. Clothis is just incredible, man. Clothis is exactly the kind of card that I want to be running in my life. Maybe there's like a Naya Super Friends deck. <laughs> yeah. If you are going to fight, fight beside me. Cycle this through. There we go. Show me what you got, to Mega Who. Nice. I don't know what we get. I don't know what we get. Let me get the Banishing Light. I need the Banishing Light, because I actually don't have the most enchantment of removal. Of course. Not a problem. Like take these out. I was kind of tempted to like quad block or something, but I think that if I can in a minute play. Play Lily and blow some stuff up. That is totally A-OK -okay by me. I mean, like, that pings for extra damage, but we don't... Like, that's actually fine. I'm the best. Okay. Uh, enter. We're gonna we're gonna lose some things for just for like just a bit. I am exhausted. Believe in yourself. As Actually, I need to wait a turn for this, anyways. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Why not do the plus on Elspeth? Or, oh, there's just no plus. She's one of these escape ladies. All right, I have two ruinous ultimatums. We're gonna do it as long as Clothis doesn't come down. Doesn't even matter. Even. Everybody now. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flames. 
I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're winning a game. We, 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 oh my gosh, I can't believe we may have done it. Yes. Looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's only four. Oh, hell yeah. Cheers to me. Cheers to me. I'm the best. I'm the best in the universe. I'm actually going to gain life here, man. That might be way too conservative of a play, but... You got it, man. How many do I have left? Three? I know that's ambitious looking, but hear me out. I bedeviled so that way I could recast this, but still, this is... We're doing it. We literally... We literally are gonna Godzilla. Oh my god, we won a game. I know we're against a sort of Naya midrange clown deck, but we're doing it. We're doing it. Bing and bong. Two mega who? So long. Woo! Yes. Oh, Handy Coil says, hey, Sean. Not sure how much of a comic book reader you are, but if you like Chew, you should check out Vertigo, the publisher. They have a lot of good stories like Chew out there. Yeah, man, Vertigo did Sandman and DMZ and Fables and Why the Last Man. And uh, I used to, like, specifically look up Vertigo comics and, like, just only buy Vertigo series for a, a long time. Because cause a lot of them were complete series. It was really nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We are, we are pulling through. Uh, squeaky BJ's for the win. Hello, my leaky squeaky buddy. Oh, that's right. We have this garbage to deal with, huh? What do I... Yeah, maybe I just really do need... In the sideboard, say... Maybe in the suburb we just need the Graft Diggers cages. We might have to Godzilla into Godzilla. What? Oh my god. Alright, Godzilla. I mean, I guess Elspeth. Yeah, I mean, if if I put in 26 lands and I have cyclers and I don't get there, you know, what are you going to do? I think we just died. I think we just died. Uh, I mean, I guess maybe a way we can win is if we get land into land and then Kaya's Wrath and then control Z's out of gas. You know, that could be it. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, now we just need the untapped land. God, what the fuck? Like, I feel like I've only land flooded or land whiffed. I mean, this is part of the reason why blue decks run, like, so much. Um, uh, let's see here. How do I do this? I think the Godzillas are just like way, way, way too fucking slow. Ah, what a tilt a whirl. Oh, this thing we get out. These feel good. These are probably very good. These are way too slight. Yep, 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 yep.
So we have like gotten a lot of land or gotten like a lot of no land. All right, well, I'm gonna hang on to this. Black. Depending upon what's in the hand, we can actually like really slow down our opponent. I mean, it looks like we're gonna whiff on the land anyways. Wow, 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 wow. Dude, this is like an incredible hand. There is no blue there. Let's get rid of this one. This is why a lot of blue decks run tons and tons of just extra little card draw, just to smooth out and even out a lot of this sort of painful momentage. Okay. That Kvetching Beast. <laughs> D-Spark and Heartless Act are really good to have in the hand. Sure. Alright, so... Gyruda's gonna come down... And we pretty much will be able to guaranteed sweep. I actually don't know if there's anything that we're really super concerned about here. I think we just kind of auto win at this point. We don't really ha we don't have any creatures outside of the robber of the rich. Travails of the Garuda decks are shown. Did I do it? Did I win? Have I won? Did I get there? Now who's who's ready to play a game of pass? Get in there, man. Nice. Spork double. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this is this is how I want to win every game of magic. Alright. Woo! Oh. Oh. So I'm going to destroy this, because now I have fewer cards than my opponent. Excellent. M <laughs> Crap. <laughs> yeah, just block it. I don't care. I don't give a damn. Nice. This is excellent. Not cycling it. Tight. I march into battle, your Indestructible. Dude, look at look at me. Look at my proactive cards. Look at my little proactive pile. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, and then it enters as a 0-0 zero, zero and just dies. Oh, my God. Show me what's in this hand. What do you have in here? Casualties of War. Oh, get that one out of there. 
Oh, you know what? I, how, about, how about some lifelink? I believe in you. Oof. Oh my god, it feels so good. We are winning a game in the way that we intended to win. Now we can crunch through a whole bunch of stuff in the grave. Alright. That feels really good. That feels really, really good. Pair of extinction events looking looking very knuckle crackingly nice. Oh man, that is good. You know, that's that's actually I think the struggle that Gyruda decks have is that like they can play the Gyruda, get a big board, and then it's like your turn. And then if you just like have a sweeper, that's game. <laughs> or if you have the exile one, then that's like mega duper game. do tonight, I'm just going to chill so hard. And tomorrow, I'm going to mostly chill. <laughs> Control Z, more like Alt F4. Damn, Terry Lonely Wolf Duncan on him. Antibody says, what are your thoughts on restricting cards and formats rather than banning them outright? So, I, I believe that I will describe, I, I, I'm going to make a strong statement, but I'll justify it. I think that restricting cards and formats, like standard or limited restricting, I believe that that is strictly incorrect. Um... And I will explain this. It is pretty dang hard to just track. Excuse me. It's pretty dang hard to track which cards are being restricted and which cards aren't. It's much easier to just have the bluntness of is it banned or isn't it banned. It's quite a bit easier to deal with. By the way, for any you don't know, restricted means that you can only have one or two or three copies. Some sort of less than four amount. Most often one. Um, wolf, wolf, wolf. Oh my god, this is, this is, this is so gassy. This is a prime day for justice. I believe in you, friend. I think that it's it's quite hard to track all of them. Especially when you consider how many people are inexperienced and playing. You really don't want some of those fresh new players kind of almost getting de facto owned by some of these rules. I think that restricted therefore makes sense in card games or formats that are really, really old school. You got it. Another day, villain. Like, I think it's fantastic if in Legacy that has decades of experience, or decades of player experience, you can put in things like that. Restrictions, and it makes sense. Because, like, having restrictions is just so painful and so bad. I mean, it's, it's just a pain in the ass. Oh, fuck. Alright. Well. Alright. Well, it's the other guy's turn. Um, restrictions keep Yu-Gi-Oh! meta alive and healthy. Yeah, I mean, that game also has just, like, shit loads of history behind it. And so I think the longer that the format or the game has been around, 
you know that your players who are playing are more comfortable with that sort of thing. sucked. I think maybe I want one extinction event in the main. Oof. Fuck, it's just not gonna get there, man. I do Oh, the Spark Devil can enter as a copy of the Questing Beast, and then it's not legendary, and then the guy can kill me. Ah, uh, oh, it was so demoralizing. Like, we, we had all the tools. Well, rats. Yeah, and I mean, I think that, like, that there is... Because I've seen people have discussions about how, well, hey, if you restricted this one card, m maybe I can present objective evidence that shows that it will fix a whole bunch of problems in the meta and make the meta healthier. So isn't that good? Isn't that, like, the way that the distortion... Or not the distortion, excuse me. <laughs> Everyone's typing distortion, so I just said in chat. Isn't that the way that we should think about balance? We should do it like that. But there is a huge, huge... Probably not. There's a pretty huge body of knowledge that just shows how overwhelmed people can get and turned off by things like that. Having to track too many pieces of information. Alright, we have Azorius... Luris, maybe. I mean, I, this, this is probably Jess guy. It's kind of funny how hard it is for a lot of players to be able to track change and track big shifts in games. Not because there's, you know, anything necessarily that complicated, but just because, like, you know, it's. If you change, like, five things here, then a few weeks later, change five things there. A few weeks later, change a little bit there. Someone who's been out of your game for two months comes back in, and they're just like, oh, what the fuck? You know what we should do? We should close out the day with a land destruction deck. Get the fuck out of here. Protection. Land destruction is so fun. Land destruction is just the is just the winningest. When you can send someone back down to zero land, it's a really satisfying experience. Maybe some sort of weird some sort of weird jund land blow up. Get him. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Four colors, fires, Tamiyo, casualties, cycling. Ooh. Ooh, now we're thinking of portals. All right, let's just take a peek at what's in here. Right. Yuck. All right, let's just do it right now, man. Maybe. Oh yeah, mortify. Tight. Let's just keep cracking my face for damage, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, we did it. Excellent. Look at me, proactive man. Dude, th this could have been... This could have been an Outlaw's Merriment. Thank God. You got it. Your light will so this is the Jeskai Protection... protect guy deck, huh? Get out of here. All right. What do you want to do, Lucas, huh? Hit me, baby. Bam. There it is. Bring it on. Bring it on. Share in my life. All right, then I do this. Bam. Are you ready? Tight, so tight, so great. So ballin'. It's fantastic. <laughs> you fight dirty. You fight dirty. I'm doing this one like right now. I am the master here. Indestructible. Get in there. Man. So, like, Corey added anything interesting to your Crocs deck. You know, I have not actually really spent too much time fiddling with any Crocs decks. Really haven't. Really haven't. No, Liliana, no. Alright, let's play Godzilla. Let's give Godzilla lifelink. And let's attack. We did it. We did it and are doing it. Perfect. Okay, Cry of the Carnarium. No, super no. Despark, Elspeth Conquers Death, no across the board. Extinction event, yeah. Um, maybe actually just robbers of the rich to hurt the guy, but probably this makes a lot of sense. I don't think anything else is even good here. I'll put in one robber. For the joy. For the joyousness. Extinction event does seem really nice. I mean, that can just turn off Gyrudas instantly. And that's a joyful experience. Yeah, maybe maybe a single thought distortion is the right sideboarding play. Looks good enough to me. Robber of the Reach. <laughs> that card is really good. Like, superlatively good. Alright. Terry, welcome back. I've not seen Terry in quite some time. Look at that. Ooh. 
Let's take a peek. Sentinel's eyes, and that's it. All right. Let's just bedevil this and move on with life, shall we? Legion error. Let's get that guy out of there. I really love Godzilla. I just want to make decks with Godzilla in it. I want more and more and more excuses to run this card. Who and ah. Um. I'm going to give back the 10th District Legionnaire, aren't I? You know, I could really use some of those sweepers that I cut. Yep. And then, uh. And then when uh, this guy comes out, oh yeah. Let me actually do this. This looks like this is a protection spell. Oh, that's horrible news. Gideon Jure, at your service. I, I think I just shouldn't have cut my cries. There were there were a lot of like X threes in there. Maybe there's enough. Um, one ones and two twos. Oh, that's. I mean, that's quite bad. Depending upon what gets drawn and what is on the top. Because that's. I mean, that's. That's eight damage. Ash. Yes. Ow, ow. Well, that's good. Do not frighten me. I mean, Kai's Wrath just helps. Kai's Wrath is just like a super help card. That does not do it. So I'm just going to do this play to see if we can get there. It's plausible we cannot. Gotta win some to lose some. We will now gain life. Excellent. Follow me to the realm of the living. All right, in we go. Your light will cleave the darkness. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So if there is any spell that Lucas can cast on this, we die. I actually guess minus twoing would have been better, I suppose. Well, fuck. All right, let me let me make you some adjusties. Let me make you some adjusties. Let us see here. Actually, I think I'm just gonna put in a robbers of the rich and a cry. That seems nice. Do, do, do. Dude, I have that, like, do you see my heart beating? That Eternal Flame song. That is, like, super stuck in my head. I went to the pharmacy this morning in order to get a, uh, some contact solution. And that song was, like, blasting in there, man. Close your eyes. Give me your hand, darling. Do you see my heart beating? I guess it's do you feel my heart beating? <laughs> Can you see my heart beating? Do you have x-ray eyes? Do you feel the same? Boop. Ooh, yeah. I'd be a rich Robin person. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe we can get maybe we can get some of these protection spells. You know, you ever play RuneScape, Sean? I never have more. But RuneScape is a game that really fascinates me due to the fact that like there's just like so much richness in how the economy functions and all that stuff. Okay, well, I kind of have the play. So I do this. I do this. I said I do this. I might just try to, like, pop it on the guy right now. God's willing! One on top. Okay. I can attack like this, which lets me be able to replay the 10th District Legionnaire. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, like, fascinated by any game in which there is a really interesting long-form economy to it. Super fascinated by that. Oh, Web Cobra, the cats love having us here all the time. They love it. Okay. This is my maneuver. Let's see what's on the other side of the Temple of Silence, huh? Seems okay. No, pass. I would I would really like to Kai's Wrath here. I think that would I think that would feel nice. Alright, well I'll just kill the Terramander. Because this has reach and no one ever remembers that. No one ever remembers Robert of the Reach. Alright, well. It was sad to see the Terry go. I do which thing when? I think I should do this, man. I'm gonna be live for like one more hour. Just a single more hour. Surprise! It's cat can do man do. Will it be a 10th District Legionnaire? It just might be. That's... This is the best possible outcome. It's the best. Odd. Great. Using a little bit more mana. Odd. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. It looks like we are going to do it. We have worked around all of the problems. We figured out how to be a successful bear. And successful we shall be.
guess I'll do this one. Ooh, white mana going. So, Lucas has a whole bunch of protection spells, so I just, like, get around that with the sacrifice. Oof. Very close calls. This looks like a fun new toy. What's more hilarious, Extinction Event or Realm Club Giant? Oh, Blagia. It is Realm Club Giant. Times 100 million billion. Oh, that is, like, so funny, dude. I mean, the hand just comes and slams down. It's just, it's it's so pure. Maybe jamming in four Croxes into this deck could be cool. Maybe jamming in four Croxes. I mean, we wouldn't get to... Our deck isn't exactly built around it in the same way that the... Crocs of Grinder decks of yore have been. Oh, yeah. I love how often we are winning just by playing a gigantic Godzilla. Yes! Yes! We have actually won a best of three! Yeah! Oh. Ranking up? Yes, please. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you feel the same? So good. An excuse to run the Croxa, please. Yeah, it feels nice. Yeah, I think it's good. I mean, it, it, it's pretty intuitive, too, how we would, like, get the little Croxa guys in. We would go up to four Fabled Passages. Shouldn't affect us too much. We would cut a Chandra. Probably cut an Elspeth. We could also run just like three of the uh, Agonizing Remorses. Alright, we're up against Sultai, which is very good at just blowing up all of our shit. School R21. <laughs> Asks, what I will describe as a reasonable question followed by a hilarious follow-up. Says, have you ever thought about... Have you ever thought about pursuing a career as a vocalist? And then School R says... You might have what it takes. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so fucking funny, man. Oh my god, that's that's so funny. You might have what it takes. You really you think I think I have what it takes, school R? Yeah, I don't know. Voice voice acting is not particularly interesting to me as a career. By Gideon, I hardly knew you. Hey, Crocs, Crocs, oh yeah, oh, awesome, all right. I will defend the Oops, almost forgot this. Opportunity. All right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, th th there there are occasional like gigs that can exist. How many I things are in here? Friend. Not enough. Occasional gigs you can get just like by virtue of being a. I guess I just get this one out. Yeah, th there's gigs that can be got simply by virtue of, like, being a streamer and having an audience and stuff like that. But, you know, meh. I don't know, like, yeah, voice acting is just not that interesting to me. I think because acting is not that interesting to me. 
like I know that there are people that exist that just they they want to be actors and actresses, and they're really interested in trying to figure out how to become an actor and actress. And I am like super not that interested in that. Soups dupes. Having, uh, having seven here is really nice. Day nine, how are things in LA? I don't know. I don't live there, but I understand that they seem they seem like they're doing okay. Terry Lonely Wolves says, "Sean, what's your favorite kind of music? Really atmospheric, sad, lonely shit, man. That right there, that's my kind of music." That is my kind of... I mean, just the just soundscapey, melancholic frowner shit. It's all I ever want to listen to. I like uh, a lot of abstract sounding stuff. I like IDM a good bit. Things with a nice heavy bass line. Not really uppy, poppy, happy stuff. No siree, nobody dopity do. If you are going to fight... Fight beside me. Prepare for battle. Are we gonna get are we gonna get a heartless? You can remove three loyalty counters from this and put it at five. You could also just kill a one one. That is also an allowable line. I actually think this is fine. This is fine to do. I'll keep this one and I'll keep making an, a horde of little ones. Because depending upon what our opponent does, if our opponent, for instance, plays a Hydroid Crisis and spends all the mana, we could kill. Because it's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus an additional 1, 2, 3, 4 would be 13. Alright, so we can just, like, zap this. This is 5 and 4. It's 9, 9. Four is thirteen. It's very, very close. Ooh. My sword is your end. You are braver than you know. Nice. We did it. We did eat. Cry the Canarium, no. Guy's Wrath, no. Maybe not even this. However, super definitely, I would love the Robbers of the Rich. Super duper definitely. Salty Saltai. Heartless Act seems a little bit mediocre. Are there going to be that many things with converted mana cost four or greater here? I don't actually know. I feel like there is bound to be. I feel like there's bound to be, right? I feel like there's bound to be. Maybe some sweetnesses. Sweetnesses. All right, hang on to this. Tony Shin. Is this Marty Friends? Yeah. Dude, turn two, it's going to be Thought Erasure, and then it's just going to be a rough, rough time. Ooh. So I'm actually going to peek into the hand first before I play the robber.
Let's get rid of this first. Let's get rid of this one first. Get rid of this one first. Paging Turner. Gifted five. Paging Turner, clearly a fan of us murdering people. Thanks, Paging Turner. Thanks for your support on this fine, excellent day. We try to work our way up and out and over. Looks like our deck is doing more now that we are trying to be more proactive. Pro Spiral's great. Whiffing on land, also great. Like, super positive. Oh, our Agonizing Remorse. No. Ah, I really wanted to be able to get rid of that Casualties of War. maybe. Well, this is good because with all the replaying and redrawing, it could possibly give us the opportunity to actually proc this Robber of the Rich. School Arms is a streamer. Do you tend to watch many other creators' streams? I watch streams all the time. I, I don't necessarily... Tune into a lot of streamers to study or to figure out how to do stuff. Um, I just kind of watch the content I'm interested in watching. Oh. I think I just trade these. Because if this is exiled, now I actually have the ability to start stealing with the Robber of the Rich. I want to be a little bit careful about the casualties of war. Our opponent could decide that now is the time to do it, just get rid of the Robber of the Rich. It's not the best casualties of war, but it's okay. Do you ever watch any of your past videos? Oh god, the antibody. I would never dream of it. Oh my god, watching my old video. Ugh, uh, oh. Have you seen me talk? Jesus, it's the worst. Hi, sweetie pie. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm gonna give you scritches in like three seconds. Is that good? Is that good? We got we got my little buddy. Good Hi. to find in war. Are you are you thinking of maybe some some time on the shoulder? Alright, here we go. All right. All right, there you go. Yeah. You know, this little cat takes good care of me. No. Well, this was unpleasant. One short cast now. Okay. What a 
good baby cat. Any land is good here. I mean, untapped land at least. This is my buddy. This is Sheriff. Sheriff checks up on me right around 6 p.m. every day. Five, six, right around then. A little while before screen's done. Just make sure I'm doing okay. This is nice. Mm-hmm. Dead then. Yeah, just rest. Just rest, sweet little cat. I think the D sparks. D sparks. I don't think I actually have any targets. I mean, I would have assumed there'd be a Nissa. Let's go ahead and get rid of these D sparks and just put them in the duresses. Because we saw a lot of disruption. have to trust myself then. She tucks her little head in. It's so cute. Sweetheart. Everything sucks. I'm supposed to keep a one lander when I have some Godzillas. I don't know. We're just gonna start blowing up land in a little bit here. Dude, this cat just fixes everything. if we get a robber. This little cat just always makes sure I'm doing good. So awesome. I love having this little cat. She's such a buddy. Alright, so we, we kind of have some stupid looking stuff going on here. I mean, Godzilla into Godzilla into Godzilla into Godzilla could do a thing. Just chain Zillas. Oh my god, you hate to see it. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Let's make, let's make some land blow up stuff. <laughs> 